Hey guys, this is me, Randy91, and I'm talking about Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the one coming out this year, does look pretty good, but that's not what I'm talking about. Apparently, at a recent like investors meeting or whatnot, Activision was asked whether Call of Duty would still be an annual release or not, and they were basically like, yeah. I mean, pretty obvious answer. And it actually makes sense. Let me explain why. See, the thing is that Activision is still going with Call of Duties based on the old style, I guess I should say of releasing games. Remember back in the day, those of you who are old like me, where DLC wasn't really that big of a thing. This is like pre-Xbox 360 era. And basically to get updates had to come out with either sequels or you could do like what Capcom did with their like Street Fighter games where they would release the same game but with like updated character rosters, new moves and stuff, like how it was Street Fighter 2 I think and then it was Super Street Fighter 2 I think and then it was like Ultra Street Fighter 2 or something like that. So back in the day we did have a good number of games I believe having annual releases like Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. But DLC changed this. When DLC became a commonplace, game companies didn't have to make sequels to kind of bring something new that people would want to buy. They could simply have DLC in their games and that would bring people who were kind of getting bored of the game I guess back and bring new people who maybe weren't interested in the game and be like, oh, now it has some good DLC. Okay, let's let's play this game now. So DLC and updates and patches and whatnot have kind of prolonged the lives of games. So people don't need to release annual releases anymore because they can simply bring updates to the games and DLC. But here's what makes Activision and Call of Duty more specifically so different. It still makes a ton of money each year. Y yes, Call of Duty sales have gone down a bit, but not like by a massive amount. Like Call of Duty used to, I think, make around 30 million units a year, and now it's around 20 million. And yes, that is a big drop, but it's still tw around 20 million units sold a year. I mean, Black Ops 4 made over $500 million in its first three days. So to me, it just doesn't make sense that Activision would stop the formula. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Activision can still release annually and each Call of Duty game, I believe, still sells over a billion dollars in gross revenue. So Activision has no incentives, no, no real incentive to just hold back on Call of Duty, even release it like every two years and simply release DLC and updates. It has none of that. Activision is still making a bunch of money, I believe, on these Call of Duty games. And I think in their mind, they're like, we might as well just stick with our formula. Like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But what do you guys think about Activision saying, yeah, Call of Duty will still be an annual release? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.